let's break down your Strapi project folder in 60 seconds so you know exactly where to find and place your code. In the root of your Strapi project, you'll find the .strapi folder which is auto-generated by Strapi and includes files for rendering your Strapi app, the .tmp or temporary folder which stores temporary files like the SQLite database file. You have the config folder which contains all configuration files for your project such as database, admin, server, etc. And you can also have your cron jobs here. You have the database which contains database migration files. You have the dist folder which contains the build output of your Strapi backend or admin panel. And then you have the public folder which stores files accessible to the public or the outside world. Here you find files such as your image uploads and other static assets. The SRC folder is where you will be working for most parts of your project. This includes the admin folder for admin panel customizations, the API folder for creating of your APIs, which contains your routes, controllers, content types, services, and so on. And then you have the extensions folder, which helps extend your Strapi installed plugins. And then you have the index.ts, which is the main entry point of your global lifecycle functions. You have the types folder, which is generated by Strapi for your components and content types. This is for type safety and auto completion. And then you have the Strapi updater, which is responsible to track if you need to update your Strapi application. That is the Strapi folder in a nutshell. To learn more, visit the documentation page at docs.strapi.io. See you in the next video.